In today's video, I'm going to be explaining the power of Joe Dispenza's breathing technique, how you can physically do it for yourself at home and get the results quickly. Welcome back to another video. I am Maximilian. I help conscious entrepreneurs reprogram their mind, empower their lives for happiness, success, fulfillment, abundance, you name it, I do it. How you can start to release the old survival emotions to that of thrival emotions. So let's get first things first. We are made up, we are not made up, but we have energy centers in our body. Some may call them chakras, some if you're not so in the spiritual terms, um, they would be energy centers. And the reason is, is because they physically have the energy there. Now wait a, a couple of minutes and I will be explaining exactly how you do the breath, but I just want to explain some of how, of why you do it so that you know why you do it. Because when you know why you do it and how you do it, the, it just speeds up the process instantly. So your first three centers, also known as the root, the sacral, and the solar plexus chakras, are, they're your survival centers. This is what causes you to digest energy, to have sexual experiences, to be able to produce a baby, things like that. So what this is about is about bringing that energy from them up all the way up to your spiritual centers and more to your brain. Because when you're breathing, uh, you're bringing energy from your survival, what you're using to expel energy, and you're bringing it up, you're literally not releasing, you're creating more energy. So this is where it starts with these first three centers. So where focus goes, energy flows. Your body is becoming your mind. When you're bringing this energy up, your body is leaving from itself to your mind. You are your body, you are your mind, you are one. And this is where the heart and brain coherence comes into play. So where you have to start with is these first three lower centers. That being the root, if you're speaking in chakra terms, and it's about where you expel energy, urination and defecation, or to produce a baby. Rather than releasing those muscles, you're drawing that energy in. That's the only way you can explain it without getting too rude. So you're bringing that energy in. So the opposite to expelling the energy, defecation, urification, everything like that, you're bringing that energy in and you're holding those muscles, squeezing them tight. So when you start holding these muscles, what you're doing is you're releasing neuropeptides into each center, which fills it and then can release and expel the energy up. So right now I'm gonna show you exactly how you do it and the, the theory behind it. Okay, so we're gonna get started on how you do the physical breath. So the first center, like I say, is expelation out of front and back. So it's rather than pushing, you're drawing in that energy. So you're breathing in with a slow, one slow deep breath. That's what you've got to make sure with this. One slow deep breath. Locking in that first center, squeezing those muscles tightly. Bringing that energy up to your second center. Now with your second center, what you're doing is you're breathing your belly button back in towards your spine like that. So first center, holding those front and back muscles, lifting up that perineum. Second center, you're breathing your belly button as far back to your spine as possible. And then third center, you're locking in your upper abdomen. So the key is with this, and I'll do one full explanation, but the key is with this is making it into one process. Just like driving a car, when you first started driving a car, it wasn't as easy just to turn it on and understand, right, that's it, key in, check your mirrors. But now, when, once you do it over a period of time, it becomes a process. Initially, there's loads of different cogs that have to be fitted together to order to make it a process, but when you do it enough times, it becomes a process. So once you've reached the first, first set, second center, third center, then you're bringing that energy up and locking it into the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh center. You're bringing that energy all the way up to your brain. So I'll do an example. So where your focus goes, your energy flows. So once you're bringing that energy up, you're not squeezing and trying to like knock yourself out. What you're doing is you're squeezing the muscles. First set, second set, holding that third set and bringing that energy further up, all the way up to the top of your head. So all that energy that is used to create a baby, all that energy that is used to digest food, to run, fight or hide, gets pulled up instead of released out. So all of a sudden, the energy releases into your brain. And once you release into your brain, this is what can cause these transcendent experiences because you are releasing more DMT, which is one of the most um, powerful hallucinogens known to man, into your brain. 
you already have this into your brain, but you are activating the DMT that's already there, that sometimes comes with near-death experience, or it comes with a near-death experience, or comes just before you die. So that's where they say your life flashes before your eyes, because you have that DMT experience that it just explodes energy into your brain. And once you release this energy into your brain, you're switching on the sympathetic nervous system. The only time you switch on the sympathetic nervous system is either in a reaction, run, fight, flight, whatever that is, or within an orgasm. So you're doing your, you're literally having an orgasm in your brain in the present moment. You don't need an external experience to give you that orgasm, which creates that love, which creates that bliss that enlightenment feeling, that enlightened experience within you. And the reason it creates that enlightened experience is because you are releasing gamma brainwaves into your brain. You're not just activating from the delta or theta brainwaves, and obviously theta is deep meditation, but once you hit delta, then gamma, that's when you're hitting super consciousness, super awareness. That's where things just start to shift. That's where you start to see things from a complete different experience. Your perspective completely changes. So the difference is what is actually stopping you from doing this? Because it's our breath, it's free, you have the ability to do this. So I'll explain it very, very briefly just to finish it off, just to explain how you do it. So center one, you're bringing that energy in, you're like, what you use to eliminate, you are bringing that energy in, tightening those front and back muscles, lifting up that perineum. The second center, bringing your belly button towards your spine. Third center, locking in your upper abdomen, just like tensing your abs. And then you bring that energy all the way up, and squeeze each of those centers, each of those muscles, and eventually that one pop will happen where you hit that gamma experience. So this is exactly what I've learned from Joe Dispenza. I've had some great experiences with this myself and I highly, highly, highly recommend you give this a try and you let me know your answers. If you have any questions about this at all, please do let me know. Now, I highly recommend uh, reading Joe Dispenza's books, um, Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself, You Are the Placebo. They are two of my favorite books and also Becoming Supernatural. That's one other one of my favorite books. And you will start to see the differences that you can make in your life. But use this breath to impact yourself. Use this breath in your morning routine. Use this breath in your evening routine and start to watch these experiences shift within you. Because once you create these charged molecules that are going up and creating these powerful um, experiences for you, you will naturally want to create your life. You won't miss a day because it's not a chore. You do it because you love to do it, not because you have to do it. Meditation for me now is not a chore. Meditation for me now is I want to create my life. I know where my life is going and I know exactly where I'm going to be one day. That doesn't mean that I'm gonna naturally just go there and switch there, but that means that on this plane of the 3D world, I'm doing what I need to do in order to get to that place because time is relevant here. I need this time to understand, to learn, to grow, to then build up to where I want to be. Once you start to do this, you'll start to have these transcendent experiences which really shift your life. So I hope you've learned something from this video. I hope you've gained something from this video and let me know how you go with the breath. If there's any more questions about it, I'll be happy more, more than happy to clear it up. I hope you have an amazing day. I hope you keep spreading love. You keep spreading kindness, positivity and making differences in your life and other people's lives.